What's up guys, this is Darth Wayne bringing you another episode of Magic the Gathering Chandelar. As promised in the last one, I made us a deck to uh, take on that dungeon that doesn't allow black. So let's jump in. No, don't think I want to fight you, Centaur. Got a quest for me? Mana Link. Yeah, we'll take that. We'll do that right after we're done with uh, this dungeon here. Alright, let's take a look around. It's looking like one of those layouts where we're not going to be able to see much until we get into a fight. Alright, well, we're going to get lucky with a card right away without a fight. That's nice. Uh, which of these has the flying ability? Dancing Scimitar has the flying ability. And there's another card. Nice. Whose ability has the Zephyr Falcon? Zephyr Falcon has flying. If the Falcon didn't have flying, that'd be pretty sad. There's this workshop. The card we're really not that interested in, but that's okay. Soul Ring in the next duel? Eh, it could be worse. Let's go ahead and try and get that card. Alright, Library of Alexandria in the opening hand. Pretty much going with that. We're going to have two soul rings, which is going to be kind of funny. In a normal duel, I might mana burn to get that second soul ring out, but since life loss carries over here, probably not going to do that. That's annoying. Alright, so let's go ahead and use our library. Get out... See, we'll go with the Mox Emerald so that we can cast this without mana burning. Uh, or not. I'm dumb. Oh well. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking in my head, but oh, if he doesn't use that mana vault, please, oh, please don't use that mana vault. Yes! Alright, so... Let's draw a card. Good, we'll get out Savannah. And an Aaron to Jin. And the old tap his mana vault trick. Make him take three from mana burn and one damage around. Probably gonna have to swords to plowshares that guy. Especially if he doesn't lay land. Alright. Let's go ahead and draw our card. Send our guys over to attack. And I think we will swords to plowshares that guy. Just avoid taking more damage. Get a Tundra down. And we'll say go. Alright, send our guys over. And draw a card. And Sarah Angel. And Tundra. We're going to take two more because these computer AI is going to attack with that thing. Oh, he didn't. Surprising. Usually they'll stick it to you on their way out just because they can. Alright, forest walk for the Sorceress Queen. And send these two guys over for the kill. Alright, Black Lotus, that's what we really came for here for. So that's good. 
So the card could be up here, could be down here, could be down here. I think we'll go fight this one. Actually, let's do this one. Alright, so that's a good start. We can drop a bunch of jewelry. And then have room to ancestral recall ourselves on the first turn. And get out of Selvish Archers. Could get out the COP Black, but might as well get out a creature at this point since he doesn't have anything on the board. And now we'll drop an Aaron to Jin. And we may get far enough ahead to uh, Swords of Plowshare as one of our own creatures to get some life for another duel, which will be nice. Alright. Probably Swords of Plowshare is that guy since he's going to die after two atta or three attacks anyway. Alright, let's go ahead and get out... Another Aaron of Najin. And the Soul Ring. If he doesn't do anything, Sword Splashers, this guy, attack with these two for the win. Get an extra four life for the next duel. Alright. That pretty much counts as not doing anything. So we'll sort splashers whichever one he blocks. And we'll sort splashers that guy. A little extra life. Actually, we don't need it. There's all the cards. Right on, that was quick. Alright, so let's head south to Pyrene Mill, get our mana link, go fight that uh, green wizard that's down there harassing uh, Hormel Temple. Oh, have to fight the High Priest. Alright. Oh, forgot to change our deck back, but that's alright. This deck's not terrible. COP Black's kind of a bummer, but uh, oh well, what are you going to do? Got to remember when we get back in town to change my deck back. Keep the Elvish Archers going. Bogan Shirts, they're Elfin. Hopefully we start pulling some land. Alright, that's almost as good. Paradise means we're, if we pull land, we can get out of Sarah Angel if it's, if it's a white mana land at least. All right, apparently he's sick of taking our Elvish Archers in the butt because he uh, didn't attack with his Mesa Pegasus. Perfect. Warning. 
Let's tag with Sarah Angel. And I think we'll Ancestral Recall. There we go. Tundra. Mox Pearl. Mahamadi Dijin. Now we're talking. Man, Ancestral Recall's so good. So good. Makes me want to keep our deck blue, but the other blue we've got isn't that impressive, really. Have to take a look at the difference between the blue and the black and really see if it's worth it. Probably should have held that guy back. In case he's got a Wrath of God or something. It's not like we don't have a lock on the game. Healing self will not save you, sir. What do you got going on? All right. Healing self still won't save you, sir. All right, keep heading south. Pyrenean Tavern, or sell some cards. Let's take a look at these. So in the black version, we're missing out on Royal Assassin, Demonic Spectre, Mind Twist, and Demonic Tutor. Mind Twist and Demonic Tutor are the big ones we're really missing. The blue version, we're missing out on Time Walk, Brain Gazer, and Ancestral Recall. So it's really kind of a toss-up between Time Walk and Ancestral Recall, or Demonic Tutor and Mind Twist. Hypnotic Spectre and Royal Assassin are a little better than Mahamati Dijin and... Uh... Yeah, maybe we'll try the blue version for a while. Let's go ahead and put in the Black Lotus, because we can. We'll pull out the COP Blacks. <coughs> See if there's anything else I want to throw in. No, that's about it. Let's go ahead and save. And sell some cards. That's what I was doing. Go ahead and sell a candelabra. Probably never use that. Never gonna use copy artifact. Uh, let's see. Iron Star, never gonna use that. Right now we're going to use Nether Shadow. Probably never use Cyclopean Tomb. Alright, that should be enough for now. Let's buy some food. Uh, World Magic, or, uh, yeah, we'll take that. Now it means they got to get five mana links before they can, uh, they can make us lose the game. So that's handy. Where's Pyrenean Mill? Alright, still south. Actually, I'm gonna fight this guy. I've been wanting to get some blue cards. Maybe we'll get some Serendipa Freets. That's what I'd really like to add to our deck. Alright, second turn, Aaron and Jin. All right, that kind of would normally suck worse, but 
We've got a bird of paradise out, so it doesn't really hurt them that bad. Send the Arnum. Tundra. Sarah Angel. Right, we might as well get out the other soul ring. Hit me for five. That's fine. Because I'm coming with these two. Should be it. All right, nothing we're gonna use there, but at least it's also lowering the uh, blue wizard's life, which we want to do. Uh, no, not really interested in you. All right, got a mana link. Let's go down and try and free Hornwall Temple. We'll go ahead and drop a save. Got white amulets. Not really interested. Nope, don't want to fight you, especially not for my time walk. Thanks, though. Alright, let's fight, buddy. Alright. Fungusaur, him starting with that kind of sucks, but we got a library in our opening hand, so that's not too bad. Forget this guy. Like you pay mana to do something. I remember liking him. Okay, that's it. Draw a card. Get out. Tropical Islands. Next turn, we could, s ooh, that sucks. Well, we can tap his mana vault, that'll help. Next turn, we could get out an Aranum Dijin if we choose not to uh, use our library, um, which might be worth it. Let's see, this, this will put us at six cards. No, because then we'll never be able to use the library again. So I guess we'll wait another turn. And we'll get out of Birds of Paradise. Thankfully, on his turn, we get to tap his Mana Vault. All right, let's see. What can we do? Can lay the tundra. Draw a card. Lay the pearl. And get out of Sarah Angel. Plus one, plus one. He's only got two green mana. Oh, he's got these guys. Yeah, whatever. Almost forgot about his uh, Lanawar Elves. Shivan Dragon. All right. Let's pull a Swords to Plowshares, please. That's not a Swords to Plowshares. Uh, 
Alright, well, let's get another Sarah Angel out so we can block the damn Shivan Dragon. <laughs> that hurt. Alright. Well, let's lay a Tundra. Library. I think we'll go ahead and time walk here. Get an air in them out. Send the Sarah Angel. Give a Lanamore Elf Forest Walk. All right. Attack with these two. Will Library of Alexandria first. And get out White Knight. White Knight. Tropical Island. Ancestral Recall. And Soul Ring. Alright, we should be able to win this now with the Mana Vault. That time walk really helped. I think I'm just going to go ahead and block to the uh, Birds of Paradise. And we'll go ahead and give Forest Walk to the Lanawar off again. Draw a card from the library. Wrath of God. Handy. Alright, he dies from his mana vault. So we'll just go ahead and get out and air him. Lay Savannah and say go. Alright, Hornwall Temple is freed. Let's see here. That's all the way on the other side. So we'll probably hang out in here for a while and try and get these mana links, these last couple mana links here. Then we'll head and do that uh, temple that's, uh, that there's a dungeon down here somewhere. And then we'll go from there to try and free Mandrake Temple and Allure Inspire. So we'll start that in the next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like, favorite, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks again.